Greetings, everyone. I am Pete Pardo from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. It's Wednesday, new review day here on the channel where we take a look at uh, cool new releases that have come out in all the different genres we look at. We also occasionally do take a look at some uh, music-related books that have come out or videos, right? Today is a uh, got a couple books here for you today, the first of which is called Alice Cooper at 75 from Gary Graff. This is, as you can see, a monstrous book in a very hard outer case, right? It's got the felt. Not sure if you can see that, right? You can see how you got the nice, cool shot of Alice there, and you got this black felt all around. <clears throat> this is some package right here, and of course it comes out. Right, so we're going to put this to the side here and take a look at the book. And if, when you open it up, you also get uh, a little envelope that has a Alice Cooper poster in it as well. Kind of neat, right? And then, so the uh, these books, Alice at 75, right? So this actually highlights uh, 75 highlights of Alice Cooper's life and career. That's basically what these books are all about. And these are fantastic coffee table books uh, that give you a nice intro filled with information on Alice, the man Alice Cooper, the band, the albums, history, lots of photos, the tours. So, you know, if you're, if you're looking for a great kind of like history of Alice Cooper and kind of the highlights of the band and his as a solo album, uh, as a solo artist, I should say, and his career going forward. These are fantastic, fantastic books because they're jam-packed with information, great photographs, lots of cool like memorabilia and things like that. So, um, and they go through 75, obviously 75 high points in the career. That's... And, I mean, the photographs are just absolutely spectacular. Uh, then you got like a nice kind of, when you're right in the middle, you got a very cool timeline, which is pretty neat. Pretty cool. Alice with his girlfriend in a pool, who's wearing Creature from the Black Lagoon outfit, which is pretty neat. Uh, let's see, there's some great live shots and, and lot, lots of, uh, you know, it's amazing how many photographs of Alice back in the 70s, and he's got a beer in his hand, and every one of them, either a Michelob or a Budweiser. Um, pretty interesting stuff here. You get some jackets of, like, singles and things like that. And, you know, while they do spend a lot of time on the classic era... They do dabble into the 80s and what? Here's a great shot of Alice and Keith Moon, obviously drinking up a storm, right? There's Alice with his, I think he's got a Coors, yep, he's got a Coors can in that particular one. Uh, here's Alice and Jake the Snake Roberts, for those of you who remember that Alice was involved in the wrestling storyline for WrestleMania back in the late 80s, which is pretty, pretty neat. Uh, there are a couple of, um, kind of disturbing. I'm going to try and find them for you. You know, during the dark time uh, where Alice was got involved in, in, in cocaine, right? I mean, look, he just looks terrible here. He's he looks very, very thin and just uh, emaciated. I mean, look, this, this is the, probably the most disturbing picture in this entire book. Look at how, look at how thin and just uh, emaciated he looks. And this is, again, during the early 80s, during the really dark time. So that's during the uh, zipper catches skin, flush the fashion, special forces time frame. Uh, Alice just not looking good. But then, you know, you got some very cool stuff from, from the, uh, the comeback years. Great live shots. They go and they talk about all the different albums. Brutal Planet. Diamonds. 
And this goes all the way up to very, very recently. So, I mean, this book just came out. So they, they take you all the way up to, uh, let's see, the last... Uh, so the Detroit Stories is number 75. Okay, so all the way up to most recently. So all in all, I mean, this is a great, great little... Uh, it's actually not little at all. Great, uh, great coffee table book for the Alice Cooper fan. And it comes in, like I said, this this wonderful outer case, which is really, really cool. The big old slip case, I guess you can call it. So uh, go check it out. It is on, uh, God, what is the name of the publishing company? It starts with M. This is the same company that did um, the uh, David Bowie one that I did recently, which Martin Popoff had written. You know, I'll, I'll pop it. I'll pop it in the uh, in the comments below. Some additional information about the publisher and where you can get these. But uh, very very cool stuff. Check it out if you're a fan. You want to have it. And this is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together, all the damn time. Gary Graff. Alice Cooper at 75. Check it out. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as it posts. And please do uh, hit the like button before you leave. And if you care to uh, venture to our Ko-Fi page to make a channel donation, that link is below as well as our merch page where we have all sorts of cool Sea Tranquility stuff. So thanks for watching everybody. I am Pete Pardo. We'll see you real soon here with more new album releases here on Wednesday. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.